Hello everyone. We hope you enjoyed the last video. Today we are going to learn about transportation in animals and plants. It is NCRT class 7 chapter 4 biology. Today we are only going to see about circulation. In the next video we will see about excretion. Now, what is circulation? The movement of blood all around our body is known as circulation. That is, when the blood is pumped, where the blood goes to provide oxygen and the nutrients. Okay? Components of circulation. Heart, it pumps blood. It is, sent, it is located at the center of our, our chest and it is slightly uh, moved to the left of our uh, chest. And it is only about our closed fist. And blood. It consists of many parts. That is white blood cells, platelets, red blood cells, plasma and many more and blood vessels they carry blood throughout the body see now blood they are red blood cells that are the red cells and the white blood cells the white bloods and the whitish red red cells that is that are they are the platelets and the liquid part is the plasma heart it has four chambers we are going to see about it in the upcoming uh, slides. And blood vessels, they are having three types, the arteries, veins and capillaries. We are, that also we are going to see about, in the, about it in the upcoming slides. The four chambers of heart. The heart is made up of four chambers. The heart is made up of four chambers and it is uh, made up of cardiac muscle. It's a very, very special muscle. It is the cardiac muscle. It never gets tired. The upper two chambers are called atria and the lower two chambers are called ventricles. Heart valves. What are valves? Yeah. Valves of the heart prevent black backflow of blood. The heart is equipped with valves that permit the blood to flow in only one direction. There are two types of valves located in the heart. The atrioventricular valves and the semi-lunar valves. Okay. Types of blood vessels. See, you can see the red uh, blood vessel. It is the artery and the thin, thin, very thin uh, blood vessels. They are the capillaries and the veins. They are the blue color, blue color blood vessels. First, arteries. They carry the blood away from the heart. They are located below the skin. So, we can't see them. Veins. Carry blood towards the heart. They are located beneath the skin so we can see them easily. Capillaries. The exchange of water and chemicals between the blood and the tissues occurs here. Pulse rate. Now the pulse rate is a measurement of the heart rate. Or the number of times the heart beats per minute. As the heart pushes the blood through the arteries, the arteries expand and contract with the flow of blood. The sound of the heart 
will be lub dub lub dub right it beats 72 times per minute now i'll give you a activity just do now keep your heart at your uh, wrist can you feel the lub dub the feeling if you feel that is the you will feel that is the pulse rate okay the process of circulation blood is pumped from the left ventricle of the heart through the austro and the atrial branches to the atrioles and through capillaries where it reaches an equilibrium with the tissue fluid and then drains through the venules into the veins and returns via the venae and cavae to the right atrium of the heart see here i think you can see the flow of heart here first from the from the hair lungs the oxygenated blood enters here and then it is pushed to the the side and then this is no this one is going to this and the exchange of uh, through arteries and the exchange of gases and chemicals happen here and it goes through the veins to the heart heart and then the deoxygenated blood carrying the carbon dioxide goes to the lungs through pulmonary artery understood now um, we are going to see the circulation summary that is the diagram of that see first from the lungs pulmonary artery o2 rich blood enters the left auricle and it goes to the left ventricle after entering the left ventricle it goes to the main artery that is o2 rich blood it carries o2 rich blood and it goes here to the body organs and here is the gas exchange through the capillaries and then we go to the main vein CO2 rich blood that is the deoxygenated blood it goes to the right auricle and it flows down to the right ventricle and goes here and then to the pulmonary artery and goes to the lungs and the carbon dioxide is expelled out understood thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe